I'm making a new 3D printed Roscop watch. I'm making a new 3D printed Roscop watch. Hey guys, Jacques here. So I started a new project. It's a 3D printed Roscop 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 watch. The inventor of this watch is called George Frederick Roscop. He was a German of origin who moved into La Chaux-de-Fonds in Switzerland to learn French. He then worked in the watch industry and about probably his mid midlife he had the idea of a good working watch, affordable, uh, precise, that the workers could actually afford. At the time most watches were built for the nobility, precious metal, very expensive, but he had the idea of a proletarian watch, a watch for everybody. And that was quite a revolution at the time. He had quite some trouble starting, but he managed to get it this way. And his watch had quite have become did become quite popular. It, they're still quite easy to find on eBay for I found one for sixty bucks that was still working. That's the first prototype that I could put together with the powertrain and the escapement. So here's the spring and the barrel. There's a stem to wind up. This is to give you an idea how the rewind works. On the stem I have a little pinion tapered bevel gear like this and gauge with another bevel like this and then the invalid gear drives the rewind. This is all the gears. That's the drum gear, second gear, third gear, escape wheel. And it's the same as this drawing where the, the drum, it's this big circle. Second gear, uh, third gear, and then balance the escape wheel here. I have that tiny little escape wheel. It's only one millimeter thick. It has a ten module one gear. That's what a 1060 gear looks like. See my my pinky finger is way bigger than the gear. <laughs> so for now, module one gears. I tried cycloid. That's cycloid. That's involute. At this size it's really hard to s tell the difference. Cycloid is more pointy. I got that 3D printed spring but it's not very good. The, the spring is sagging too much. It falls on the balance wheel. This is the pin lever anchor. Those one millimeter pin are what makes contact with the escape wheel. Also figured that pins would work well as the interface interface between the balance wheel and the anchor. There's also two pins. Two pins that come inside the anchor here. And 
and that way all the friction is still against PLA and I hope it's going to work quite well. My prototype is kind of working. Now if I change position sometimes it stops. One of the reasons is the anchor is not balanced quite well. The anchor needs to be totally balanced onto the shaft so whatever position it works the same. That's why there's a counterweight on this side but it's not there yet. Also need to do the safety dart that will come here and hold it one position or the other. My hope with this is right now it's uh, 145 millimeter in diameter so it makes it almost carryable, portable for sure. If I compare with my pre previous watch a previous watch attempt a attempt so it's about half the size uh, it's less than half the size hopefully the power reserve is going to be about 12 hours so what I have not done yet is the hands that will come on the back here the hands are driven by a small pinion on the drum gear that will drive another pinion for the minute hand and then the minute hand will drive the hour hands and it will be on this side whereas escape mount and the rewind on the back side. This is going to be part of a long term project there's a couple of things I'm trying here one is to see how small I can go with the gears with a 0.4 nozzle. So I'm um, 145 yet here. Uh, sure, I can get it down to maybe 120. And then that escape mode is still used in a lot of the cheap mechanical. The cheap mechanical alarm clock like this one at one point I was thinking of taking the parts and the gas make a new frame and do a, a 3D printed watch uh, that could be really a watch size. But for now I'm making this one and that's also an idea of experimenting how small can I go with a 0.4 nozzle. Well first do something that works complete with the arrow hand and everything hopefully that works for 12 hours and then I'll see how small I can go. This is 140 millimeters. But I hope to get it down maybe 100, 120 millimeters, maybe. We'll see how small I can go. Also, probably work on the thickness. Right now it's pretty thick because it's just easier to put everything together. <laughs> But yeah, so I'll try to get it 120 in diameter and maybe 50, 60 millimeters in thickness. But that's almost possible to put it in a watch, in a, in a coat watch, maybe. <laughs> and after that, I can try to do it in a with a 0 
two millimeter nozzle and almost reduce the size by half. So if I have 120, go down to 60 millimeter thick, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> but that's going to be a long journey, I suppose. So please like, subscribe, and I'll see you. And I'll see you in the next video and we'll see what my progress looks like. Thank you for watching. Bye.